Hey everybody, thanks for watching The Great Green Room. My name is Julia. Today we're going to be looking at The Prince and the Porker, written by Peter Bentley and illustrated by David Roberts. If this title looks like The Prince and the Pauper to you, that's on purpose. This is the story of a little pig who wanders by the palace doors, notices some baked goods out to cool, eats them up, goes inside, eats some more. When he's caught, he runs away and he ends up in the prince's bedroom. He goes ahead and puts on the prince's clothes, puts on the prince's wig, and when everyone bursts in, lo and behold, everyone thinks he's the prince, and he just goes on to create all kinds of havoc around the palace, just having the time of his life eating all the prince's food, when lo and behold, the prince turns up and the game is up. What is going to happen? This book is completely enjoyable. There is no lesson. There is no moral. It's just 100% fun hijinks, well told. I think you ought to go out and buy everything that David Roberts has ever illustrated. If he's ever illustrated a bad book, I don't know about it. That would make this book worthwhile all by itself. Fortunately, the story is really funny, like I said, and it's told in very well done rhyme. I know I mentioned this before, but a lot of children's books are done in rhyme. Not so many of them are done in good rhyme. And you're, all, you're often going to see like really sloppy rhymes, really sloppy rhythm. This has neither of those. This is very well done. It's really satisfying to read aloud, which is a bonus point for me since I'm the one who has to do the reading. And it's really satisfying for kids to hear. You want them to hear what good rhyme and meter sounds like, and especially in a really fun way like this. I am definitely giving The Prince and the Porker a five out of five. I'm adding it to my wish list. I encourage you to check it out. Thanks for watching The Great Green Room. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I also want to hear about your favorite children's books. Tell me about them in the comments. Bye.